Do I look smarter with glasses on? Because I wear glasses because I'm blind as a bat. So, yeah. I hope I look smart. Hey guys, so, yes, shamefully, I am back with another haul video. I am not doing this to show you or to brag, hey, look what I got, because I can get it, and maybe you can't. I'm not doing that in any way. Um, the reason why I kind of do hauls is because, one, I want to get the products, because every time I watch YouTube videos, I always see products out there that people are liking, so I want to try it out. So I go and I try it out, and I upload a haul, and if you guys want to see whatever product review of any sort of products that I have showed in the video, then you guys can just comment down below and say, hey, can you do a review on this product? And I'll be gladly to. So it's like a win-win situation if you understand or if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So there is a video that is uploaded finally. Uh, it's called the Sephora Collection Face Brush review slash my thoughts I will have a link down below to that video if you guys want to check it out I just uploaded it today which I think is the today is the Friday today is Friday oh gosh today is Friday Friday is my favorite day so I'm gonna try to film this video real quick because actually right now today I am going to the mall um, so yeah anyway I hope you guys like this video if you find it a little helpful or if you want me to do any reviews even though I'm going to just go ahead and comment down below don't forget to subscribe to support me and see new videos that I'll be filming I will try to be doing makeup tutorials hopefully when I get my camera in May which is quite a while from now but I hope you enjoy this video I hope you stay and I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to check out my Sephora collection face brush uh, review slash my thoughts on that video I'll have it linked down below and yeah don't forget to follow me on social media websites such as Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you guys later in my next video bye guys for the Ulta haul I did get some new NYX products if you know me I love NYX products I love when they come out with new stuff I love when they try to revamp it a little bit more uh, basically NYX is a kind of like a drugstore but they only sell it now in Target and in Ulta I know some places around the world they are having it now in CVS which is awesome it's convenient so basically NYX is a affordable drugstore brand some of the prices is a little bit high but it's not too high like those kind of high-end products but NYX basically is an affordable brand they their products is very high quality to my standards is very high quality I love the products I'm never down as you can tell I have some NYX products right here right here and then some in here so I like NYX products I like to use NYX products so without further ado we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this haul because I'm dragging this video out really long so yeah let's get started so I was able to get 20% off your whole entire purchase which is not really a lot considering uh, the kind of price that I paid for these kind of products but I did get four new NYX products two of them are baked one of them is the eyeshadow palette and then another one is a different thing that I'm just gonna try out and see if it actually works so the two things that I want to talk about are baked and I got the bake blush and I also got the bake eyeshadow and I was typically going to go for the NYX new eyeshadow palette but I wanted to try out some new products because I've been seeing people talk about these bake blushes and eyeshadows so I also wanted to try that so this one right here is the NYX baked blush and this is in Bell no this is in pink fetish which looks like that I have never even opened the package yet as you guys can tell um, but I like the packaging is very cute. It has like a little bowl and then it opens up um, I did read a review uh, and a person said that you have to kind of get through the first layer of the baked blush and the baked eyeshadow in order to see You know the true colors of it. So I don't know if they're correct or not I'm actually gonna try this out and see if it is I will do a first impression on this since I never used it yet and then also I got the bake eyeshadow which looks something like that and this is in Bella Bella 
and again I would try to incorporate that into a video or do a first impression so some of these products that I'm showing you I am going to incorporate them into a video like a get ready with me video or something and then also do a first impression so you guys can um, see how it works so those are the two bake products that I got the next one I got was something that Coffee Break with Danny did, and this is the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. Uh, she did a kind of dupe for this one versus the Bobbi Brown uh, Radiant Finishing Powder or whatever it's called. I will link her video down below to those two products that she was talking about. But this is in brightening, and basically what you do is you kind of take your brush, you swirl it in all of the colorful colors in this little palette and then you highlight it on your face where you want to highlight and it's supposed to give you that nice brightening radiant effect to your face so I will do a first impression like I said and also incorporate this into a video the next thing I got was a NYX Dreamcatcher palette in stormy skies I was going to get two more of this palette, not just the Stormy Skies, but the other two that they have. But I wanted to try this out first before I actually go and buy the other two one time. So this one is in Stormy Skies. I did not even open it yet. As you could tell, it's sealed with a little heart, which is cute. Um, but the reason why I got this was because it has more of a neutral eye shadows. It is kind of, they do look like they have a dome shape to them which um, I don't know if I like it too much um, I don't know if they're gonna give a lot of product to it um, they might do but I don't know I, I read reviews and some of them was mixed some people said that uh, they like the color payoff some said that this palette didn't give too much of the color payoff you have to pack it on so we'll see how that go I will do a first impression swatch you know on this and also incorporate this into a video like the other products so I will be swatching these in a in a next video and also reviewing them first impression and incorporate them into a video but those are the products that I got they're basically simple I will if I do like the dream catcher palette I will go out and get the other two um, but so far all their palettes um, in the dream catcher palettes um, are kind of neutral they have like maybe one one or two colors that are kind of on the bright a little bit dark side um, other than that most of them are neutral so I will be trying out these products I got a request to do a review on something that I got from Sephora because she wanted to see it and also she wanted to see 